Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Nikita and Morphe palette. I just got it probably last week, maybe a little bit before then, but I'm super excited to show you guys how I got this look and what I was able to achieve with this palette. So if you're interested in my thoughts on this palette, then go ahead and hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video and we'll get right into it. All right, guys, so I have you zoomed in so you're able to see the look I'm going to be doing. Um, I don't quite know what look I'm going to be doing yet. Um, if you can see, my face does look a little bit better than it did the other day in my video. Like, it looked like I just had, like, ugh, I don't know. It was just a hot mess, but it looks better. My lighting is better. I'm trying to work on my studio lighting and like what's best. The only problem is now I feel like I have a shadow, if that makes sense, like you can see all that. So I don't know, I'm gonna figure it out. I'll work it out, it'll work out, we'll figure it out. But we're getting into the new Morphe and Makita palette. Um, so this palette comes with lots of colors, um, as you can see. You do have down here just like more of your muted, nudey, curly, light colors with some regular shimmers and then up here you start to get a little bit more funky with some blues and some purples and then you have your silvers and whites then we get up here to this hot hot row of pink purples violets then we got this green which i'm super excited about but i really don't know how i'm going to innovate that into my makeup i just don't know but i want to try to use colors today and then we have just our dark shimmering colors here and then this pressed glitter which is bomb please excuse my nails they look atrocious now we're going to go in with a look first music music made you long okay i need to get it together today i don't know what i want to do i am gonna go and put some random um, I'm going to go in with Shapeshifter, yeah, nope, Argumented right here, and just cover my eyes. And I'm just lightly coating that over where I'm going to be placing shadow. I am so excited for this palette when I saw it. Like, I'm just so happy for Nikita, but also, I love when we get this craziness. I'm also really super excited about Metamorphosis. Uh, Katana, Matrix, like these like new, like look at this. I don't know if you can see this. It looks so cool. Like it just has purple shifts in the blue. Like, yes. We love an innovative item. I think I'm gonna go all the way in with like a smoky, colorful look. So I'm going in with Nikita, which is just that hot pink. And I'm going to place that on my outer corners. We're going to go crazy. I think I'm going to go super bold with this look. And if you guys want to see a more muted nude look, then go ahead and comment below and I will obviously get you guys one of those out. So it definitely doesn't come off as bright as it does in the palette and with the swatch. But it's definitely buildable. There's not a crap ton of fallout, which is nice. So I'm going to show you guys. I did a video about eyeshadow fixes. Um, I'm going to actually show you with this one. Like, see how crazy this is? Like, there's no, it's not sharp at all. That's what I meant in that video. I'll link it right here. That I, like, cut it with concealer. So I will just go crazy. So it's all the way out here. So I know I have the color placed the way I want it. But go check that video out and you'll know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to go in with ABG, which is this light pink purple, and see how that works out. If it looks too pink, then I'm for sure going to go back in and use the darker purple. Bing, bing. I'm just going to be using the L19 from Laura Lee Los Angeles. Yep, not purple enough. Not purple enough! It's too pink. So I'm going to go in with Mama Dragon, which is the darker purple right next to it. Um, speaking of Laura Lee Los Angeles, I am waiting patiently 
for my Nudie 2 palette. I like that better. Um, I'm so excited for that, like for sure. And so basically I placed that Mama Dragon right in the middle over and I'm blending it with that pink. So I'm waiting on the um, Lordly Los Angeles palette and I'm also waiting on, I'm gonna go into Sakura, which is that light pink. Um, I'm also waiting on the Manny MUA, um, the new uh, Eternal Eclipse, maybe? I don't remember what it's called, but this color here. Um, and I'm going to review both of those, so. I don't know what I was trying to say there. Like, I was just like, Bleh. But yeah, so I'm waiting for two of those two palettes to come in. I'm super excited about that. So I'm just going back in with Mama Dragon and just placing it so I have lots of color. Don't worry about how sharp this is up here. I'm going to blend it out. Don't you worry. All right, so I'm gonna go in with ABS and Sakura. So ABS, Sakura, and I'm gonna mix them. And we'll sign love, and I'm gonna blend this. I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know. Okay, so I think I'm in between using this blue and this blue and this green. All right, so I'm going in with P. Louise Base before I decide which one I'm doing because I still don't know. And I'm going to cut a sharp crease. All right, so see how high I'm going? I really want that color that I'm about to place to really stand out. So I went way above my crease. If you look, my crease is right here. The reason I'm going way above, as we all know, is because I'm going to make my eyes look bigger than they are. <laughs> and if this ever happens, like see I got some of the concealer over here, I'm just gonna cover it with purple. It'll be totally fine. I have to decide if I want light blue or teal. I think I'm gonna go teal. The teal is really screaming my name here. I don't know that I would have liked the green. So the teal is Razengon. Razengon? Razengon? I don't know. But it's this teal color right here. And I'm just gonna pack it because I know it's gonna be some fallout. Okay, so I got a smaller palette because I need a smaller mirror to get up close here. Pretty pigmented. Oh, I almost went into this dang palette. Yeah, so this color turned out like <laughs> all way better than I expected. I'm pretty excited. I'm also excited because my Lisa Frank palette will be here soon. Lisa Frank and Morphe collabed and I was like, I need that. And it wasn't supposed to launch until like 1 p.m. Eastern time. And I was like, you know what? I think it was like 11 here. And so I, go I Googled it. So I searched it on Ulta instead of going to just the Morphe section. I actually searched Morphe Lisa Frank and sure enough, it was there and available. Okay, so now that I have that blue place, which has taken quite a bit. It is a little patchy. I won't lie to you about that one. Um, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of that ABG and the light pink and literally just go in here and shimmy this to give it a nice blur. So the reason I use those two light colors like I did to blend out the top is because I feel like if I use the purple, just that dark purple right here, it would kind of overshine on the blue and I don't want that to happen. So now I'm gonna go back in and I'm gonna just add some more color to what I have. And the reason I go through and I add the extra color at the end is not because it's not pigmented, it's just as you're working and moving and blending and brushing, sometimes the color can get blended out so the true color just isn't there. So I just like to make sure it looks as pretty as it does. <laughs> looks so good, guys. <laughs> guys, like for real, it does. I'm excited. <laughs> Okay, I think I'm gonna go a little extra. I think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. 
You'll see. All right, so I'm going in with that P. Louise base and I'm going to draw a line. And I'm gonna add that super bright green to it. I don't like that one for that. All right, so I switched to the L20 from Laura Lee. This one's pretty, it has a pretty sharp tip, so. All right, so I did have to go off camera. <laughs> To do that, I decided that that's what I wanted to do. I don't know how I feel about it. I don't know. I'm gonna wait until it's all together. And then hopefully like I'll love it. But like part of me is like, no. <laughs> we'll see, but I'm gonna go off camera. I'm gonna do the rest of my face and then I will be right back. Okay guys, so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna finish the under eye. I think I'm gonna switch it up a little. So I think I'm gonna go in with ABG, which is that in between pink purple. Now my nails look really gross. Let's go almost all the way over. I just feel like that looks a lot better than a hot pink under there. And it really goes with everything. Okay. Baby. Okay, so for that bottom part, I think I'm going to go in with that lime green that I did the liner with. Just to give it more of a pop. Which is she go. Oh. Like that. Okay, so I'm trying to get that color of the green. It's just not coming out as green as I thought it would. At least not without the white. I think it just looks lighter on my lid. So I'm going to go in with fa Fatal, I think it's Fatal, it's just a shimmery white. Okay that color did not come to play, oh my god, that is Ooh, super bright, okay cool. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna put my lashes on and my lipstick on and I'll be right back. So that is it for my uh, first impression slash makeup look slash review, whatever you wanna call it, of the Morphe and Nikita palette. Overall, I'd have to say, I think that it's a stunning palette. I was able to achieve a very bright and bold look. Um, I used Junebug from Kylie Cosmetics just to go with that pink purple. I really told myself that I was gonna go like nude, like don't go crazy, don't get out of hand. And I did, I did, I went bold. I did it, I did a pink purple and I love it. But um, overall, I really do love this palette. I think that you get a large array of colors, you get your neutrals, you get your shimmers, you have a lot of mattes, different formulas of shimmers too, these duochrome colors and then the pressed glitters and then the chunky glitter one, which I'm excited to use. Um, I didn't actually get to use it in today's video, but I'm sure later on I'll be able to mess around with it. I think that the colors are pigmented. I mean, look at my eyes, just look at them. I think the colors are pigmented, they're bold. There was not a lot of fallout for being as pigmented as they are. It was a $30 palette. It didn't let me down. It is your traditional, I feel like, Morphe palette. When they do collabs, the collab palettes are always bomb. They are the only Morphe palettes I will buy. I will not buy normal Morphe palettes because I feel like they don't put as much effort or thought into those palettes. I think they just kind of shove pigment and colors into a pan and send it on out. But these, like the formula is always really good when I get it in a collab because I feel like it has someone else's name on it. So Morphe really has to be like on their stuff with it. And like the 
this image does not give this palette justice like it's so pretty but I don't feel like it's bold enough to scare somebody into not wanting to buy it if that makes sense because I feel like sometimes the 35B and the really bright palettes like the new Lisa Frank one those are so bright and bold I just think that they lack the subtlety of bringing in people who don't really wear a lot of color to buy them so I think that this one really covered that I love the packaging I love the front I think that Nikita and Morphe both did a fantastic job. I love the makeup look I did. So as always, guys, make sure you go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up and let me know in the comment if you have this palette and if you want to see a more neutral look done with this palette, go ahead and comment that too. And as always, I'll see you on the next one. Bye!